ISO 1975 and just a spoiler warning if you don't want to see what Beagle Point looks like in game please click away from this video now because that's where I'm going to the edge so as you all know I didn't go to Beagle Point because you didn't get three weeks of videos of me complaining about Space Madness now my friend Pirate Orc as you can see is some way out and in his intrepid exploring anaconda and when he got close he invited me into his ship so I multi crewed my way 68 odd thousand light years across space to join Pirate Orc and it kind of feels weird doing that I am not absolutely certain I'm happy with being able to do that it's one of those it's, uh, in my own head I'm having a debate so I'd love to know your thoughts on it whether you think multi crew instant travel is a good thing or a bad thing because I am conflicted on this issue when Pirate Orc offered me this opportunity to jump entirely across the Milky Way in one leap and bound and find myself in his passenger seat I jumped at the opportunity uh, but as I was sat there looking around I was thinking is it kind of spoiled me going there for myself uh, do I still have the same appetite to go there myself I mean personally I think that I'll be alright and I will actually go here eventually in my ass I'll take a, this long journey at some point <laughs> down the line but it was great to see this it's a weird place to come because it's entirely black apart from this one like tear across the blackness which is you know the stars uh, it's bizarre how they're <laughs> confined and trapped this one tear um, it's really weird it's really creepy and I did actually get to view it through the uh, cockpit of a Lacom because uh, Pirate Orc had a tie pan on board and I took that for a little spin when we were planning inside and um, yeah it was quite nice to view that through the cockpit of a lake on how I always thought I would view this. So I would like to say a huge thanks to Pirate Orc for allowing me to jump in his multi crew and piggyback on all his hard work travelling all this way across the Milky Way when he's done it the hard way, the old fashioned way in his Explorer Conda. And I've got to say I'm quite impressed with his Explorer Conda. It has held up pretty well. And uh, when I was in the seat, just sitting there, jumping between systems, you know, I took a little glance in the system panel just to check how his modules had held up. Because it's a long old journey. And uh, I'm impressed, I've got to say, with how his ship's held up across the stars along this journey. I dread to think how long it's actually taken him to complete this journey. I don't know if he came via Colonia the Core or how he went about it, how he ended up all the way out here. I just know he is itching to get all the way back so he can pirate someone <laughs> because that's what he and his group that he flies with does. They are pirates. <laughs> and this is a little bit out of his comfort zone, I think, exploring, but he definitely knows how to build an explorer ship and he seems to have made it in one piece and have the stats to be able to make it back in one piece. I mean, I always figured the first time I'd do multi-crew with Pirate Orc, it would probably be to pirate someone so it was a bit of a surprise that I got invited to come all the way out here and see the sights I must admit I recorded an absolute ton of footage uh, but I was kind of unsure what to bring you how much of a sneak peek to bring so I, I settled on just this bit because I didn't really want to dampen your appetite to come here yourself um, I, even though I want to show you the game I don't really want to show you too many spoilers it's again it's I'm conflicted on whether I should or shouldn't bring spoilers to YouTube <laughs> and all I know is that Bumper is on one today and anyone playing the drink every time he crows is probably now paralytic so <laughs> that's it um, that's all I'm bringing to you thanks again to Pirate Orc and that is all thank you very much for watching <laughs>